We can start today in a comfortable cross-legged position. And I invite you to pull the flesh of your buttocks back behind your sit bones. And if you're comfortable closing your eyes, please do so. Maybe you can feel how the weight of your body, just like the eyes dropping down, also drops down. If you relax the floor of your belly, maybe you can feel how the sit bones become heavier on the ground. relax the muscles in your face, you might find that that fosters more relaxation, perhaps the shoulders, the arms, the hands. Just take a minute to scan through your body and see if there are ways you might be able to relax a little more. See if the head is relaxed, the chin parallel to the ground, so the neck can be long and relaxed. And then in this softened body, we can start to deepen the breath. Try to see if you can find the happy medium between keeping the breath relaxed, but also using appropriate effort to breathe deeply. And if you let the breath come in slowly, you might achieve that balance where the breath is still deep, but the effort is relaxed. Drop the chin to the chest. And when you inhale, the chest lifts to the chin. When you exhale, the head drops toward the chest. Bring the chin over to the left shoulder. Place the right hand behind the back. Try to bring it all the way over to the left waist, palm facing out. And then as you press the back side of your hand into your waist or back, roll that right shoulder back. Continuing to sink the chin to the left. And see if the breath can find its way up into that space that you're making 
up by the right chest and shoulder. Maybe making a little more space with the fullness of your in-breath. chin center, lift it up, bring that right arm across the chest, hug it in with your left hand, turn your head to the right, flex at the right wrist. Mm -hmm. Stay steady and slow in your breath. back to center, release your arms, drop the chin, bring the chin over to the right shoulder, place the left hand behind your back, reaching across to the right waist, press the knuckle side of your hand into your body, rolling the elbow and shoulder back, rolling the chest open and breathing into it. Feel the space that the breath occupies. center, lift your head up, and reach the left arm across the chest, pull it in with the right hand, flex at the wrist, turn your head to the left, try to keep the elbow straight, slow, easy breathe. center, release the arms, and wrap the hands around the shins or the front shin. As you inhale, pull the hands toward you, send the chest out, the shoulders back and the eyes up, and then exhale around the back, drop the chin, leaning away from the hands. Inhale, pulling in, lifting up, exhale, stretching back. Following the rhythm of your breath. And then inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, fold over your legs. 
Relax the hands, the elbows, the shoulders. Release the weight of the head. Pay extra attention to the exhale, releasing all the air out. Expanding across the back as you inhale. On your next inhale, roll yourself up, reach the arms up, exhale the hands together at the heart, relax the hands, note the cross of your legs, release the legs, shape them out. When you're ready, cross them again with the other leg in front. Drop the chin again. And then roll your head to the left and up and all the way around, making circles in the air with your nose. When you're ready, reverse the circles. Come back to center. Inhale the arms up, exhale left hand down, slide it away, drop the elbow and shoulder, push into the hand, sinking down the right sit bone, reach the right arm over to the left, and look up and to the right. Left elbow drops and the body sinks. See if the breath can reach all the way up the right side, almost as though you're reaching to the fingertips with your breath. Maybe if the eyes are closed, you can really get a sense of how much of the body breathes. Next inhale, lift and reach the arms up. Exhale the right hand down, slide it away. Drop the elbow, drop the shoulder, push into the hand, sinking down into the left sit bone. And then reach across with the left hand and look up and to the left.
Breathe space into that left side. Inhale, lift, arms up. Exhale, fold over, resting the arms down, dropping the elbows, dropping the head, dropping into the feel of the body, breathing. Releasing all the air out and sinking toward the ground. On your next inhale, roll up, reach up. Exhale, hands together at the heart. Anjali Mudra. And release the hands, bring them to the ground, flip over your feet. You might want to just straighten your legs a little bit, stretch out your knees. And then straighten the left leg. Have the hands right under the shoulders and lift the left leg up to the height of the hip. Gazing down in front of you, lift the right arm forward. Pull the belly up to support the back. Support the whole posture with your breath. And then bend that left leg. Reach back for the foot with the right hand. Kick the foot up and back. Looking up. Push into the left hand. Lift the heart even more. Lift the breath up even more. Release the right hand and then place the left foot on the ground off to the right side. So you're crossing the leg over to the right. And then we'll take the right arm up and come into a twist, squeezing the inner thighs together. Turn the right hand down, lift the back leg up again. Now bring weight into the right hand and then start to turn yourself to face left and send the left arm up. And bend the left leg again, reach for the foot with the left hand. And pull the heel to the buttock. And then press the hips forward. And 
can take your gaze up and roll your chest up. Feel the ribs expand. Now release the back foot and step it forward. Drop the hips, coming into a lunge. And then draw the back knee and the front heel toward each other. And aim the tailbone forward. Shift the hips back, hands walk back, front leg straightens, and then press down through the toes and pull up through the toes. Point and flex. And then hold the flex position. Inhale and look up. Keep looking up. Exhale and bend the elbows and lay your belly closer to your thigh. Continuing to look up. Inhale. Exhale. Bend the elbows. Drop the ribs. Inhale. Look up. Exhale. Lay your chest down. Then you can relax your head and then take less weight into your hands. So maybe just the fingertips are barely touching down. Some of you may not be able to reach the ground with your hands. And if you're on blocks or something, similarly, just take weight out of your hands. Pull that left hip back. Draw the navel in as you exhale, relax over and away. Breathe into it. And lift your head, bring the left arm inside the left leg, send the left leg back, plant your hands under your shoulders firmly, gazing down at the ground, lift your right leg back to the height of the hip, and then lift your left arm forward, pulling the belly up toward the spine. So you don't want to be looking ahead of you because then your spine's not straight and we're aiming for a straight line here. Steady breath. And we'll bend the right leg and reach the left hand for the foot. If you don't reach it, then maybe you can grab hold of pants or a strap or a towel around that foot. And then kick the foot up and back, looking up. Can you breathe all the way up into your third eye? Release the left hand down for a moment. Cross that left foot, sorry, that right foot over to the left side. 
and then weight will be in the right hand, and we'll turn and lift the left arm, squeezing the inner thighs together, gazing up to the thumb. Feel where the breath can expand into the body even more. the left hand down, lift the right leg again, take weight into the left hand, roll your belly to the right, and then lift the right arm up. Bend that right leg, grab hold of the foot, and pull the heel toward the buttock, and then press the hips forward. If you want, you can turn your gaze up and roll your chest up. front heel toward each other, and then tuck the tailbone like you're aiming it for your right leg. Send the hips back, walking the hands back. Lift the toes, press the toes down. Lift and press. And then hold the flex position. Inhale and look up. Keep looking up. Bend the elbows and try to lay your belly down toward your thigh. Looking up, inhale. Exhale, scoop the navel in and try to release the ribs down. And one more inhale, looking up. Exhale, try to lay your chest down. Release your head. And then lighten the touch of your hands on the ground or whatever you're bracing with. Relax the shoulders. No resistance. No strain. Softness and breath. Lift your head, bring your right arm to the inside of your leg, send the leg back, and bring the hands, one hand's length in front of the shoulders, 
Spread the fingers wide, curl the toes, inhale. And then exhale, lift the knees, push back into the hips, down into the heels, roll the shoulders down the back. And then drop the chest, drop the head. See if you can push into all 10 fingers and in so doing, shift weight from your fingers to your feet. And then walk the feet up to the hands. Soften the knees, tuck the chin, roll yourself up. Reach the arms up, inhale. Exhale, clasp the hands behind your back. Step your legs wide apart. Roll the shoulders in toward each other in the back, straighten the arms, breathe into the chest, and exhale and fold forward, lifting the arms, lifting the belly, dropping the head. Release the arms and bring your body over the right leg, holding, relaxing, breathing. And with the left hand as close to the right foot as possible, lift your torso, get it parallel to the ground. Bring your right hand onto your hip. Inhale up into the chest, making lots of space in your spine. And then as you exhale, tuck those left ribs under you, rotating up and to the right. Then lift the right arm into the air. See how the breath can open up a little more space that you can then twist it. And release down. Drop the head. Walk the hands and the body over to the other leg. Hanging, relaxing. Now bring the right hand as close to the left foot as you can. Lift the torso so that it's parallel to the ground. Bring the left hand onto the hip. As you inhale, breathe into the chest and stretch out your spine longer. And then as you exhale, bring those right ribs under you. Rotate, look up, float the left arm up. And let me 
release the hand down, walk the hand center, plant the hands on the ground under the shoulders, and push the hands forward, bring the chest closer toward the thighs, elbows in line with the hands and the shoulders. Now either with the hands on the hips or with the arms extended forward if you want that to be a little harder, lift yourself all the way up. And then we'll all bring the arms out to the side. Turn the left foot to face left. And then bring the right heel back a little bit. So the back foot is on an angle. And take a breath in. And then exhale, reach out through the left arm. Release the arm down. Bring the right arm up looking up at your thumb, and then as you inhale, make the left side of the body longer, and then as you exhale, drop the right ribs to the left ribs, keep making space in the spine with the inhale, and relaxing with the exhale. the body lined up over the left leg, not in front of it. And inhale, arms up and out. Exhale, turn the feet the other way. Reach the arms out to the side, inhale. Exhale, reach to the right, drop the arm down, lift the left arm up, lift the gaze up, and then notice the crunch in that right waist, which is shortened, and then try to lengthen the right side as you breathe in, and drop the left ribs to the right ribs as you breathe out. right ribs under you, keep the body lined up with the leg, and inhale, lift up, exhale, release the arms down, turn the feet to front, Step the legs together. So you can either have the feet hip width apart or have the feet together. A lot of classical yoga is taught with the feet together, but it was always taught by men for men, and women's hips are obviously a little wider than men's hips and so it can be destabilizing to stand with your feet together so my lineage is actually um, one of the few female teachers dating back to the last couple, two centuries ago and she has it so that you stand with the feet hip width apart but if you're comfortable with the feet together for this posture then feel free to do that so we're going to bend the knees, send the arms up, and then really sit down behind you. Try to get the back to be straight and drop the tailbone, draw the belly in.
shoulders pull down. And then come to standing. Release the arms down. And come in and bring weight into your left leg. Maybe closing the eyes so you can really feel how the whole body positions itself over that left foot. And then you can switch your awareness from the weight of the body to the feel of the breath. And see if you can stay connected to the breath and just gently open your eyes, looking at a spot in front of you. And then we'll lift the right foot and take it into the right hand. And then if you can, bring your left hand around the foot as well. If not, you can just let it hang or you can lift it up. If the both hands are around the foot, you might interlace the fingers. And then we're going to start to kick the foot back and up. Sending the chest out. Really actively kicking the foot back and up. Now see if you can not put the foot down on the ground and just pull it into the chest. Lift tall through the crown of your head, draw your navel in and down, relax your shoulders down. And release. Close the eyes. Let go of any thoughts about what's just passed and come fully into what's here now. Feeling the weight in your feet and shifting weight into the right foot. Then bring your attention to your breath, nice deep slow breath. And stay connected to the feel of the breath even while you open the eyes. Lift the left foot into the left hand. And then if you can bring the right hand around that back foot, interlace the fingers. If not, you can take the arm up or just leave it down. And then kick the foot back and up, sending the heart out and up. Spread the breath wide into the chest. See if you can bring the knee to the chest without touching the foot down first. And then stand really tall, pressing down into your right leg, lifting through your head. Draw the shoulder blades down your back, draw the navel in and down. Feel your feet, feel your breath. And then drop the chin. 
Roll yourself down. Coming to sit on your feet, if you can. We'll take the left hand and either tuck it under the left shin or under the left thigh, whichever one lets you bring the whole hand under and still feel like the arm is straight. And then inhale the right arm up, bring it over to the left side of the head, stretch tall through the spine, inhale, exhale, drop the right elbow down. Just let there be a heavy weight suspending off that right elbow. Letting the hand be heavy on the head. And stay tall through your spine, long through your breath. Bring the hand to the right side of the head, lift the head up. Release the right hand, release the left hand. And tuck the right hand either under your thigh or under your shin. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale to the head. And then drop the elbow, taking the head down to the left, lift the spine tall, breathe deep and slow, Bring your hand to the left side of your head. Lift your head up. Release your hands. And walk the hands back behind you with the fingers pointing forward. Roll the shoulder blades in. And if you can, lift your hips off your feet. If not, just press your hips down into your feet and lift your chest. If you can drop your head back, drop it back. If not, up the chin down and then push if your hips are lifted push into the tops of your feet to help get your hips to come forward even more are lifted, release them down, sit yourself back up, and fold over into child's pose. Extend the arms overhead, push forward into the hands, sending the hips back. And bring the hands in, keep the chin to the chest, slowly lift yourself back up. If you're unable to sit on your feet, maybe you can have a pillow behind your knees that might help the knees, and if not, just sit any way that you can. So we'll do a cooling breath. 
if you're able to curl your tongue, not everyone is genetically able to do so. I'll give you an alternative if you can't. If you're able to fold your tongue in half, like so, please do. And if not, you're just going to make like the tiniest little hole in your lips as though you were whistling. And we're going to inhale through the small space, either through the lips or the tongue. And then exhale, close the mouth and breathe out the nose. Inhale through the tongue or whistle lips. Those of you out in East County, I hear in the mid 90s today, so feel free to do this throughout your day. Let that breathing come to rest and come off of our feet, onto our buttocks and onto our backs. Starting with the knees bent so that you can lift your hips, tuck them under, release them down, and release the legs out and shake them out. If you're using an eye pillow, you can place that on your eyes now. And then we'll rest the arms out to the side, away from the body. And take a deep breath in through the nose. Exhale out of the mouth, releasing the body into the ground. Inhale through the nose. Exhale out of the mouth, releasing the weight of the jaw, letting the lips slightly part. Inhale deep. Exhale out of the mouth, releasing the activity of the mind. Coming fully present to the breath. And then even release sing the breath so that the breath breathes for you. Just letting it happen and bringing awareness to the sensation of breath so that you can feel it happen. Not to control it or judge it. Just to be with it befriending it, sit alongside the breath with your mind, letting go of thoughts, letting go of body, letting go, letting go, letting go.
into your heart, your fingers and toes. Reach the arms overhead, take a deep breath, stretch long. Hug the knees to the chest. Rock gently side to side. Feeling the ground massaging your back. And then come center. Bring the soles of the feet together, the palms together. Rub hand to hand and foot to foot. Roll onto your side, rest your head on your underside arm, rest your body on the ground, rest your mind in the feeling of this moment, all the sensations, energy, mind states, emotions. What's here? And then start to slowly lift yourself up so that your head comes up last, coming into any comfortable seated posture, sinking down into the sit bones, lifting tall through the crown of the head. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, hands together at the heart. Inhale, the heart up to the hands. Exhale, shoulders relax down. Inhale deeply, breathing in from bottom to top. Take it all in. Let it all go. Drop the chin to the chest. Namaste.